Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we're going to be taking a look at Flashing Lights. Been wanting to take a look at this game for a while for you. Uh, it just kind of got updated to the point where uh, you can uh, play, uh, record this with Shadow Play. So, I'm, we're going to be taking a look at it. I'm going to be explaining what Flashing Lights exactly is. Okay, Flashing Lights, as you see, it has a multiplayer and a single player. It is a police, fire, and rescue game. It is an indie game. And you have your traffic, which is five. You have your pedestrian, which is five. You can set your parking, your parking defenses. I'm going to put that on medium. But I'm going to leave it there today. Fuel consumption is medium. Start. Now, it does have sync multiplayer. It has... um. Single player and sync multiplayer. It is a, it's still in beta, but it, it is a pretty good game to be uh, checking out if you're into this kind of stuff. Um, I don't play it all a lot. I do get on here when it does have updates, um, new things coming out. Um, it, it it hasn't been updated in about a month. The last update was uh, light bars, where you can customize your light bars uh, with different colors different patterns, stuff like that, so, but it is still a pretty interesting title to be looking at. Alright, so, this is your menu. You have police, you have a fire department, and an EMS. Now, since this is our first video of this, we're going to start off with police. You can choose your character. You have male, female. You have different body types, different uniforms. I'm not sure about the uniforms, if there's going to be like different agencies eventually in the game. Don't know that yet. Um, haven't got that, you know, too, too far into it. So we're going to choose this guy here. We're going to add him a hat. Put some glasses on him. And we're going to set a timer on how long we're going to go. To give me just a second here, let me get my timer set. We'll do the same thing we do like with LSPDFR. Same amount of time. Okay. Alright, so here's your menu. As you see, the police station here is not finished. You, you know, you can't go through there. Now, if you arrest a suspect, you bring them here to register your suspect. This is, uh, they get a, a, a vehicle, if you want to get a different vehicle. And this is, like, to change agencies. So, we're going to look at the vehicles. Alright, you got the, uh, what's supposed to be the Crown Vic. Now, you can customize these cars with different light patterns, um... Stuff like that. I do have this one set up to be a slick top. As you can see there. Um, we, we, you do have the, um, what's supposed to be like a charger. And you have the explore. You have the uh, van. And you have the um, tow truck. So I think we'll use the Explorer tonight. So we're going to go ahead and just save and exit. Now, flashing lights, like I said, you know, there's not a lot of calls. There's only like two or three uh, police calls right now. Uh, this game is fully controller supported now, which is good. Um, it does have a weapon wheel. So that's your weapon wheel to grab your gun, your taser. 
That's all there is right now in the weapon wheel. Eventually, um, there will be more added. Here's your floor. Let's go ahead and open the trunk. We'll show you what we have in the trunk. Alright, so you have your weapons where you can restock all your weapons, your uh, restock ammo, uh, get weapons like your shotgun. You have traffic here, you have tire spikes, you have a radar gun, you have your traffic vest, you have cones, you have road flares, you have uh, add-ons which is a fire extinguisher, and eventually we're going to have a, like a spare tire. So that's going to be interesting. So we're going to close that up. And we're going to get in. Vehicle's a little wild. Sorry about that. Should have turned it down a little bit. Alright, so we want to turn the lights on. We hit this. There's our lights set up for this explorer. We got a shot lifter call. So let's go ahead and accept that. Now, the way to uh, respond to calls on here, the best way, as you can see, there's a little green dot right there. You, that's where your call is going to be. You arrive on the scene, talk to the staff, find the shot lifter, and arrest them. Return stolen goods. Okay. Alright, so let's go. Now, you do have fully uh, turn signals, everything in this game. We're going to stop this light here. Trying to be a little legit. Now if you want to get rid of the uh, the emblem up there, it shows uh, your calls. You don't want to do a call. You don't have to do a call. There is a way to turn off your calls. You don't have to worry about that. You can just, uh, you know, just sit uh, and just uh, run radar, you know, on the interstate and just catch traffic, speeders and stuff like that. All that can be done in this game. I, I will show you the computer and all that. Maybe at a little bit later date. Alright, it should be right up here at the green dot. Let's see. Oh, we got somebody shooting at us. Where did they come from? Where did that come from? We had shots at our vehicle. I'm hearing it again. Now, you can't call any backup or anything yet in the game. That's something that has not been put in the game yet. Eventually, it will get here. I don't know where this uh, the shooting is coming from. Come on, go with that. Okay, they look like the... Let's see if we can find somebody here, because we, we've got... Somebody shooting at us here. Let's see if there's somebody in here. Got our weapon out, just in case.
Cause we did see, we did get, we are getting shots coming from on the vehicle, so that's... Hmm. I don't know. We'll go ahead and shut our door. We'll put our weapon up. We'll be and talk to this person. Alright, this is who we gotta talk to. So you hit. Alright, this is the suspect in the game that we're looking for. Is it you? Did you steal your own stuff? Come on, man. Tell the truth. You know what? We did just see a guy down here. Where did he go? Get our vehicle here. We did just see somebody. Just seen someone just a minute go walking this way. Just him. Hey, dude. Come and talk to me. Now, if you want to talk to someone, you can get, get close to them. And hit the A button on the controller. They should turn around and interact with you. Hey, come here. There we go. This looks like the suspect, so let's, uh, get his ID. Now, the pets are pretty much all the same in this game. They're, they're not too much of a difference. Alright. So we got his ID. We're gonna pat him down. Alright, that's him. He's got stolen items on him, so we will arrest him. We're going to put him in our car. Now you can't call for transport for the, for the suspect and we will do that. We're going to go ahead and head back, head back down here and uh take care of the stolen goods give this gentleman his, his property back and we'll show you the computer run this gentleman's name and everything Alright, so we found your property. So you interact with him. Return items. That's it. Stolen items have been returned. And this guy here, we're going to pull up the computer and check him out. So, you hit this button here. There's your computer. We're going to go into database. 
And we're hitting the horn while we're doing this. Let me switch over to the mouse. Auto type the name in. Right, there we go. Uh, he's never been arrested. He has no warrants. He's been arrested once. He's not wanted. No traffic citations. He does have a valid license. Okay. Alright, so then we'll close the computer up here. And we're going to have him picked up. Got to get him out of the vehicle. Because they will not pick him up when he's, when, when he's inside the vehicle. Um, it may not let me do it. There we go. Alright, so we're going to have him picked up. We're going to have him transferred. Close the doors and we're going to wait on the uh, transport unit to get here. comes a transport van running into everything. All right, they will take him into jail and he will be booked for stealing property. Game does still have some bugs, guys. It, you know, it still is in beta. It is a pretty fun game, though. I mean, I, I do have to say that. And that's the end of the call. Like I said, there's about three or four different call-outs. Um, this game's a lot funner. Honestly, yeah, in multiplayer. Until it actually really gets uh, more call-outs and... But the developer of this game, they are working on it all the time. Oh, come on. I'm trying to... Right, we got a report. Uh, a vehicle part without a permit. So we're going to turn around. We don't need lights for that. Trying to be legit here. Stopping at red lights, you know. That was yellow. We'll show you the inside of this explorer. This vehicle should be right down here. Let's 
got to be one of these right here. It's one of these vehicles. Alright. Now normally this would be a call that you would have to have the tow truck for. I don't know if there's anything that we can do here. We're gonna... See what we can do. But I can show you how you do a ticket. So if you see a vehicle like this, you get a parking ticket. Park without a permit. So you go, you put invalid parking permit. You put license plate. The fine is $50. Time and date issued by. There you go. So then you would put a ticket on it. We lost a little bit of XP, but I'm just kind of showing you. You know exactly what you do in this situation. So you did the same thing with this one. This is the one that um, was part without a permit. Unfortunately, though, we can't tow it. We could go back to the police station to get a tow truck and to come tow it. So we could clear this call, though, if we have to. Because I don't think we can clear the call. Unless we tow it. Alright. We're gonna have to go back and get a, get a tow truck, I guess. It's not gonna let us clear this call. Like I said, guys, this game is still in beta. It's still in early stages of beta. It is a it, it is a fun game, though. Turn on lights, huh? Heading back over here to the police station. Oh, it did clear the call. Okay, then we don't have to go get a tow truck. Okay, so we'll uh, not worry about that then. I didn't think it cleared the call. Uh, we got a suspect needing to be transported to court. We're right here at the police station, so we'll go ahead and take that. Now, this call can go a, a lot of different ways. Uh, when you do get there to transport the suspect, he can be attacked. He uh, could go easy. You know, you never know. This looks like the dude we just arrested. Man's out of your court date. Mm. They getting y'all in here quick, ain't they? Let's grab him. Put him in this floor. I'm gonna go ahead and get my my long gun just in case. Uh, 
We got my shotgun. Just in case we have any attacks. It may have put it back in the trunk, though. I don't know. Take him over to the courthouse. Courthouse right up here, right here. Like I said, trying to be a little bit legit on our driving and stuff like that. You know, stopping all the red lights. Using our turn signals. All the good stuff. Don't hit any cars. Here's the courthouse. Sometimes, guys, like I said, you get attacked here, so you have to kind of watch when you do this call. I still have my shotgun, so... Alright, dude, let's go. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I had my shotgun. She had a weapon on her. Call him Ash. We're gonna put our we're gonna put our shotgun in. The suspect's been taken care of. Okay, let will show you the inside of this floor. Here's the inside of this floor. Looks pretty good. Has working gauges. You can see the gauges work. A little bit not clear. I need to look at the graphics and kind of fix that a little bit. But it is all modeled inside and stuff. So.
Alright guys, so we're going to head back over here to the police station. Oh, let me turn off the vehicle. Alright. There we go. Turn off the vehicle. Alright guys, that's, that was our first look at flashing lights as we are now getting to record this. Um, and you kind of show it off of what it is. Um, that spotlight right there does work. Um, this one good thing about this, uh, this game too. Let me show you that spotlight real quick. I just noticed that. Now, you want to use your spotlight, you hit P on the keyboard. And then you use your mouse to move the spotlight. Just like that. So your spotlight does work on these vehicles, and they do actually rotate, which is pretty cool. Um, this game has come a long ways since it first came out. It's uh, it has come a long ways. It, it's uh, made a lot of progress, and I can't wait to see what the future holds for it. Um, the multiplayer, I believe now, is up to 32 p at a time that can, can be on a server. Not positive about that. I, I don't I haven't played multiplayer, so I don't know exactly if that's what it is. But, um, thank you for everyone that watches the video. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe. And there will be more coming. And have a good day.